Good evening, dear friends. I welcome you again from your YouTube screens. We meet again with you. Well, friends, I have never asked you what you want, what you want to talk about, what you want to know. So now I offer you two options. The first option, a topic, two topics. Here's one, here's the second one. The first option discusses weight loss and slimming down. If you viewed the video, you noticed the fluctuating states of being fat and thin. How to gain muscles, how to gain fat, how to lose it, whatever you want, whatever you need, I can tell you about this. Here's how I do it. If you've seen the video, you've seen how I've gained and lost weight a hundred times in a row. I can also teach you how to do it, if you want. And the second option animation, we've talked a lot about arm animation, and I'll tell you about leg animation, why it occurs. Let's have a vote so the time has come. Vote in the comments. So here we have, I mean, weight loss. Here we have, I mean, animation. What do you choose? So the voting is going on. It's 50 to 50 so far. So. Animation is at 51%. Weight loss is at 49% now. So this is Sergei Petrov. Sergei Petrov wants to lose weight. He voted for weight loss. So Zineda Petrovna also votes. Yes, I see, I see, I see. Well done, vote. Well, friends, the voting is over. So I see all the comments. I've read everything. Well, animation, so animation. This time the theme of animation won. And accordingly, I can't deny you. Well, look. What do you think? Where does animation come from? Many think it's a disruption of blood supply. What do you think is the blood supply disrupted in this case, isn't it? Come on, write in the comments. Once again, don't be lazy. Are you tired yet? I know you're tired, but still, once you got up, bon appetit, by the way, to everyone who is eating, they voted for animation. Happy birthday to the rest. So friends, take a look. Apart from the obvious reasons, Paralysis is not when there are problems with blood supply. It's when the nerve is pinched. The vessels can still work well in this case. So, well, of course, a hernia can pinch the nerve. But usually, there will be more than just paralysis. So, a hernia occurs between the vertebrae. The disc is injured. The pulposus nucleus comes out. Our fibrous ring has torn. Or there is fibrillation. Here is the hernia. The disc has occurred. The nerve is pinched, but at the same time, if it's the acute phase, there will be pain. If only the motor fibers are pinched, there may be no pain. Just if there is weakness in the leg, if it's pinched to the maximum, the foot can hang like this. But as a rule, all this is combined with pain. Currently, we are focused on animation. For you in this photo, see, completely by chance, as I knew you would vote for this, I have already prepared a drawing for you. Look here. These muscles, as you guessed, are the main culprits of your animations in the legs. The square muscle of the lower back, the iliolumbar, the pear-shaped, the biceps femoris. Well, I drew them together. Don't blame me. Together with the semi-tendinous, semi-membranous muscle, it's not guilty either, but it will also go as an accomplice together. And here are the soleus muscle and the calf muscle, they're complex. Commonly, our leg, big toe, and other toes lack it. Most often, well, it happens that it doesn't even have a stripe. If the leg doesn't have a stripe, either it's compressed between the vertebrae or just a herniated disc compresses it, there can be osteoarthritis. These joints get deformed. But most often, there is a compression of a large nerve or several nerves at once of the lumbar iliac square muscle of the lower back. They can compress together because next to them, right in the thickness of these muscles, quite large nerve trunks pass. They compress and the impulse does not go further. Instead of the impulse going from the brain, from the spinal cord, for example, to the leg, it does not get there. Or a weakness occurs on the toe, for example. A person cannot stand up, cannot move his fingers. They move better, yet worse on the leg. Or there is no sensitivity on the big toe, for example. That's it. And what about it? Here we go further. We move down. Next, we have the pear-shaped muscle. The pear-shaped muscle, 
The sciatic nerve often compresses when we have a large gluteal muscle. A weak lumbar iliac muscle can also, by the way, affect the tension of the pear-shaped muscle. Because one of the functions of the lumbar iliac muscle, it's inside. Right here it holds the sacroiliac joint. If it can't handle this, it starts to diverge. The pear-shaped muscle tightens. But most often, of course, it's our large gluteal muscle that weakens, and the pear-shaped muscle starts to overload. And then the nerve also gets pinched. Even very often, because there is not enough volume of the gluteal muscle, a person sits, and he also has pressure on the sciatic nerve. So the gluteal muscles should be of a certain volume if you like to sit, especially not on something soft, but on something a bit harder. You need to maintain this softness. The gluteal muscle gives you softness. Let's proceed further down. Right here we have two muscles. This is the culprit, it's the biceps femoris, and the accomplice, it's his hamstring, a criminal group. Of course, the biceps femoris is to blame because the sciatic nerve passes directly under it. When it starts to shorten, when it starts to spasm, overload, the sciatic nerve also gets pinched. That is, not only the pear-shaped you see, but also these two. These are the two muscles. I've already depicted one, don't judge too harshly. Next, why does this happen? Why is the back surface of the thigh overloaded? Often due to gluteal muscle weakness, there is not enough effort from the large gluteal muscle, the back surface of the thigh is stretched, overloaded, there is constant tension. It also affects the fact that we can't bend over, tension arises along the leg. The muscle's tension, not just nerve pulling, can be intense. Next, we go down lower. This is our calf muscle and soleus muscle. Here is the calf muscle. It constantly weakens and the soleus muscle is strained. Very often, there are areas in these places by relaxing which it is possible. Here is our big toe. Very often, it is possible to remove it and no less in the big toe. It is very often not in everything, but in the inner edge. Here it is, right here, do you see? Here it is, right here. But sometimes the whole finger is missing. And it's precisely the area on the inner part of the calf muscle. If we remove the trigger point right here, very often, if not always, it passes right here. In each of these muscles, there are certain areas by acting on which we can relieve nerve pressure. The calf muscles are the inner part, right here of the calf muscle. If we don't have a little toe, this is the outer part, but here we don't have a point. Here we have this whole outer part of the calf muscle very often. There are several areas in the thigh biceps here. The first one, it is located right here, right next to the ischial bone, right here where it starts. And it, as a rule, can also capture this place where the thigh biceps is right next to its semitendinosus accomplices. Piriformis muscle. The piriformis muscle is here, along with the gluteal muscle, it must be worked out. The gluteal muscle is very often right in this part, where it is, the gluteal muscle, it you see, is quite large, and it is precisely in this part that it needs to be worked out, right here where it attaches to the femur itself. So, the buttock is long, it extends to here. This particular part should be in good condition if you have problems with the piriformis muscle. But also on the piriformis muscle itself, there is a painful point, a trigger point, almost in the middle of it, the impact on which actually relieves its spasm. Quadratus lumborum muscle. It's easy to reach it from the side here, and we affect it here in several places. In the center, closer to the twelfth rib. This is the twelfth rib. This is the one from which the woman was made. This is her. They took it from a man, Adam, that was his name, and then they made a woman from him, Eve. And right here is the lower point. This is the pelvic bone. It also needs to be worked on. And the iliolumbar muscle, there are problems with it right here. There can be problems with it here because it's hard to reach. The kidney is also located here if, well, it's present. 
Various events occur, like the release of a new iPhone, which someone possesses. A new iPhone may sometimes equate to just one kidney left. So here in the pocket, there's an iPhone, 14 Pro Max, and one kidney. So there's no iPhone when there's no iPhone here. Turns out we have two kidneys. It's kind of standard. And this here is Xiaomi top for its money. And in general. The kidney is getting in the way, it seems, for you to reach. The iliolumbar muscle is getting in the way to reach. Here you either choose, yes, well, what's more important? It's better not to touch it. It's better if we affect it from the side. Like this, we also influence it. And it's also possible from the front. I'll show you how to reach this lower part from the front now. So friends, all these areas are conveniently worked out using specially made balls. There are a lot of different options for balls right now. There are massage ones of different sizes. But for the calf muscle, you can use a bigger one. That is, choose so that you have several different sizes. And by the way, there is also one area on the foot. Also on the inner edge, right here. If we go along the line of the big toe to the heel, right here, along this line, there can also be such directly painful areas. The impact on which we can eliminate, no less. Here, because we have a muscle that abducts the big toe, it often also has spasms. So friends, how can you use this ball? Find the painful spot, also called a trigger point in scientific literature. Place this ball on that point and feel the pain, but if it hurts a lot, reduce the pressure a bit. Wait at least 30 seconds, you can hold it on this point from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. What is happening at this moment? What mechanism? It needn't be too painful for you here. Here's the muscle, everything is schematic, so you understand, but just like in reality. And here in the muscle, we have this area, like this, a trigger point. It gives you pain. Doesn't let the muscle work. There's nothing good about it, only downsides. And an artery vessels approach this muscle. This vessel, it branches out in the muscle, and part of the capillaries, it goes right to this area. And what do we do? We press the ball onto this painful area and squeeze it, not allowing oxygen, blood, to this part of the muscle. We squeezed the vessels that approach this part of the muscle. We squeezed it with the ball. This causes temporary oxygen starvation. The muscle starves, can no longer maintain its increased tone, and thus relaxes. Relaxation occurs, and the trigger point is defeated because we performed ischemic compression. This method was invented by domestic manual therapists from the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. There's also the dry needle method. They would prick them if the patient annoyed the doctor. That's the one he used. Otherwise, ischemic compression, a working method, everyone uses it. It works very well at home. And this is how you work through each muscle, where I showed what I showed, how I showed. But let's schematically, as it happens in life, I will also demonstrate to you so that you are not lost already. You saw the ball, knew that if it immediately fell into your hands, you knew what to do right away. There could be an issue in the lumbar area, how to work it out. You take it from the side, without hesitation. Right here, you have ribs, right here. Men have the 12th rib right here. It's right here. Women have it in the same place. And you take the ball and you stand like this near the wall, placing it between the rib and the pelvis in this way. You can't see anything, can you? Imagine like this. You put it right here, that's it, and you wait. Right here, in this way, you work it out, find the sore spot, hold it. But here you'll catch both the quadriceps muscle and the sacrolumbar. It's as if two minutes have passed. Oh, I felt much better right away. There you go. Then the same thing on the pear-shaped muscle. We also stand, wait, 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 wait. All vessels here are squeezed. The trigger is dying. That's it. The trigger is defeated. Hooray! So friends, well what? If you have any questions, write in the comments if something is unclear. So what? That's all. We do sports, write likes, leave comments, help parents. Until new broadcasts.